A lot of spectacular and scary activity above Earth today. Wow, it's like a movie, huh? Wow. At least 1,000 people were hurt when a meteor mm. streaked through the skies over Russia this morning, then exploded with a flash and a boom that you heard there that shattered glass and damaged buildings. And that meteorite in that incredible video served as a wake-up call just hours before an even larger asteroid buzzed by Earth. Down on your side, Stephanie Harris went to NASA Langley Research Center to find out just how close this encounter was. Steph? First, a meteorite explodes over Russia. The meteor, which some say may have been the size of a small cargo truck, broke up into pieces just after 7 in the morning. Then at 2.30 this afternoon, this asteroid, half a football field long, zipped past Earth without incident. As far as I know, no one knew about the, the meteor that, that came over Russia. Dan Mazanek is an expert on near-Earth objects at NASA Langley. He says no one knew about this bright fireball because before it hit Earth, it looked something like this. Think toner, cartridge toner for your, your printer or your, your copier. That's how dark some of these objects can be. That's why seeing asteroid DA-14 is such a big deal for scientists. The idea is once, once these objects come close to the Earth and we can, we can characterize them, um, know their orbits, then we can predict many, many years into the future um, with, with a good deal of certainty that whether or not they are going to impact the Earth. If this asteroid is determined to be a threat, they can actually alter its orbit to prevent a strike. Trouble is, there are probably 300,000 more just like it, and Mazinek says scientists only know of about 1%. So what happened in Russia could happen any time. But it happens so infrequently. The question is, how much insurance do you want to buy? And Mazinek wouldn't buy a whole lot, considering the odds. Now, as for the timing of these two cosmic events, well, scientists say there is no connection because the space rocks are traveling in opposite paths. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.